Well, 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 what is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Jerry Tessica. Welcome back to another episode of Major League Roleplay on GTA 5 5M. We got a very, very good one for you. Let's start off with Dude was walking on the railroad tracks. I had to see what's up with him. Didn't end up good for him. I'll tell you why in the video. Next up, house is being broken into. It was a little confusing at first, but we got all the evidence. Very, very interesting scenario. Then next up, a Karen starts shopping at IKEA. As you can imagine, wherever the Karens go, that it doesn't end up very well. Find out why. Let's go. I'm driving back from Polito. I'm seeing an individual on the railroad tracks by Postal 2000 parallel to uh, Center of Freeway. Uh, I'm gonna go take a look at it. Uh, stand by. Bravo 1, I'm going to be on foot, uh, my car is parked 2000 Sonora Freeway again, I'm going to be walking up to the railroad tracks up there to see what's going on with that gentleman up there. What the fuck? I was just driving back and I see like a silhouette. I look up there's somebody up there, let me just run a little faster. Did he leave already? Is he dead? Bro, I swear to God, I saw somebody. I'm not tripping. Unless he, like, went to hide or something. I'm going to come check it out from over here. I'm telling you, bro, I'm not joking. I swear to God, I saw somebody, bro. Well, he can't jump this off, so I'm going to go and just... I don't know if he's up there, but let's go just overtake these vehicles real quick. I don't want to take and turn my lights up. See? Um, okay. I, I'm now definitely convinced there's somebody up there. It was 22 Central Street, 10 6 two banks. Yep, there is. Bravo 1, break, break. I'm seeing somebody right here. 2054 uh, off Union Road. There is indeed somebody in the railroad tracks. Stand by. He was trying to hide in the bushes. Actually, go ahead and send me additionals my way. 2054 Union Road. I'm going to be on top by the railroad tracks. One additional is fine. Yo, sir. Hello, how you doing? Here, how you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Can I have you um come by my car, man? You're you're on the railroad tracks right now. Yeah. You got a pistol on you too? Oh uh, yes, sir. I have a. Permit. Okay, don't face me then. Face, uh, keep facing my bumper, please. I'm gonna be out with a white male. Uh, white male looks like uh dark blue jeans. Uh, he does have a pistol on him, saying he has a permit. All right, sir. Since you are technically committing a crime by trespassing, while we're talking right now, you're not detained, but I'm, I am gonna take the pistol off you. All right. All right, that's fine. Is there is there one in the chamber or no? Uh, there is, yes, sir. Okay. It is unsafe, though. All right. All right. So, what's what are you doing? And what are you doing on railroad tracks, man? You can face me now. Um, I'm making my way down to the impound lot, and I didn't want to run along the side of the highway. Why don't you just call a taxi or get a ride or? I didn't think about it. I just figured this would be the easiest way, just to go down to the impound lot. Because about five minutes ago, I saw you down there, almost by yeah, the by the tunnel. Yeah. And then you were trying to hide in the bush when I come up here. Yeah. I, yeah, I didn't want to cause any like, you know, I just wanted to kind of just keep going. So, but I'm saying if you're just walking, he feel like you're just walking. Why why did you feel like you had to hide in a bush? I don't know, cause I don't want you freaking out, cause I'm running along the world tracks, you know, out dressed in a hoodie and 
dark pants with a pistol. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you, you would agree that's kind of unusual, wouldn't you, wouldn't you think? Yeah, I, I would, yeah. Okay. What's your first and last name? Uh, Anthony David, D-A-V-I-D. All right, Mr. David, so you 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 walked all the way from Polito to here? Yes, sir. Jesus, man, what the... F those, how many cars do you have? You only have one car? I have three, but they're all impounded. All right. Hang out with this deputy here, man. Anthony David, right? right? Yes, sir. How's it going, sir? Pretty good, pretty good. What the fuck? You enjoying your day? Yeah, I was enjoying the walk. You walking the railroad tracks? Yeah. <laughs> Spotted Do you usually walk the railroad tracks? Uh, road. no, I usually drive, but unfortunately uh, right now my car is impounded, and I just didn't want to walk along the side of the highway, risk getting hit. Yesterday you got speed limit, you got a warning. Risk getting hit walking along the highway, you said. Yeah, cause I just came down from Polito. Oh, oh yeah, is that where you stay? Yeah. Do you work down here or what? Um, I don't work down here. No, I work in uh. I, mean, I guess I kind of do work down here. I work more up by Grape Seed. Yeah, kind of okay. right here. What are you doing down here? I'm a tailor. You're a tailor? Yes, sir. That's nice. How long have you been doing that? Uh, not too long. Not too long. Probably just like a. Yeah, he's getting arrested now. Because two maybe. A week or two. Yeah. Nice. All right, Mr. Uh, Anthony. You want a good news or bad news? Uh, you can do bad news first. Bad news is uh, I'm gonna have to have ask you to turn around for me, man. You are gonna be placed under arrest right now. I'll explain to you why. Yeah. It's not because of the railroad tracks. All right. You want the good news now? Yeah. The good news is you you'll get a ride to town because I'm taking you to town. All right. So, I you have the right to remain silent. Any it can be and will be used against the court of law. You have the right to attorney if you can't afford one to set a senator. We'll provide you one of the court's expenses. You understand those rights, right? Yes, sir. All right, so you can face me, sir. Now, the bad news is why you're getting arrested is because you are a felon and you you have a you have a firearm on you. Yeah. So you cannot have that. Yeah. And I, when I patted you down, I only took the weapon off you. I didn't search you for anything else. Is there anything else on you? Needles? Uh, there, is a, there is a bag of weed, yes, sir. A bag, a single bag of weed? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Delta 81, units on that burgundy van scene. Can you confirm postal to me 3083? 3026. All right, so okay, you got to, what is this? You're smoking it or you're selling it out here? I'm smoking it. All right, well, other people might be concerned about a, looks like a gram, I'm going to weigh it, but I'm not really concerned about a gram of weed. I'm more concerned about a felon having a firearm here. Yeah, I definitely do understand that. All right, sir. So you are obviously being placed under arrest. I'm going to go and put you to the back of my car. Watch your head. Frank 112, can I get a county 1051? All right, appreciate your help, boss. I'll take him in. Right. It's kind of shady at first, but that's why I call for backup. Thank you, man. All right, take care. Driving, I wasn't driving, he was driving. 
Copy, Extra 56, is there any more outstandings or just a two in the car? Open that door. There's gonna be two in the car, I believe, sir. Ten four. Shoot me, man. I, I'm a little dyslexia, you know. I don't know what to do. Well, they took care of it. You got anything illegal on you to know about? Um, what if I told you I had a gun? No, grab That's fine. Just let's keep your hands, hands up. Let's get the hands up, bud. Let's get the hands up. Come on up. Uh, no, I got it from the flag market. Hand? No, your hands. In the sky. Put them up. Right, man. There we go. There we go. Are right, you able to get on your knees? Oh man, my legs are kind of messed up. Hey, yeah, you, guys, you guys got me covered? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Delta, you to be careful. Your car is kind of rolling back for us. Oh man. I've only got this here. I'm going to go check the original area. I got some units from the clear car. Hey, firm, let's go uh, clockwise. Okay. Bravo 1 units on scene. Did anybody check the house that we're uh, seeing uh, loitering around or no? Delta 80 negative. 10 4, do you know which house it is? I'm here right now. It's the house right next to the, uh, the white vehicle. 10 4, take a look. Well, I'm glad I took the Explorer out. I realized I didn't take the Explorer once since MNRP 2.0. And uh, it's a good time to take it out today because, man, we're, we're putting it into use. There's a white vehicle right here. All right, let's see. Oh, which house are two houses? I'm just going to take my rifle out because it is breaking and entering. I don't know if somebody's in the house or not. I'm just going to take it out just to be on a safe side. Let's see what the call say exactly here. The call said uh, house number 355. Okay. Uh, well, I think it was in progress. I still got to see. Here, let's go. Knox on house. All right. Um, we can obviously breach it. We probably can, but I just, I gotta make sure we, I get I get permission, or I I get more of a PC to break in to make sure everybody's good in there. I don't want to break in just yet. Delta 80 yeah, right there is good. It's gotta be it's gotta be this house. There's somebody inside. Now, let me ask you this when you got when y'all rolled up, were they attempting to break in or were they just hanging around here? Nah, he was definitely at the front door. Oh, there's the owner, okay. Yeah, he was he was at the front door, he seen me and then he, he booked it. So not not it. this guy, you're talking about them, right? No, not this guy, yeah, the okay. guy down there. Hey, sir, my name is Sheriff No Love, Blaine County Sheriff's Office, with me as Deputy Day, also Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason why we're making contact with you today, um, we observed two individuals loitering around your house. Uh, were you expecting any guests, visitors? Do you have anything uh, damaged, broken, anything like that? No, I, I heard I heard somebody met at my door. I, I, was, I was the one who called. Okay, so you did call. Okay, good. So, so you you were the one to call us. Somebody was trying. Like, what was what were they doing? Like, kind of making a trying to pry it open. It sounded like it just sounded like they were messing with my lock. I don't know. I was just scared. I called you guys. Okay, did you get any? Did you look out the window at all when that happened? Did you get any physical description on him? Uh, not I'm really asking because me. just to make sure we got more evidence. All of Whenever I saw it, I wanted I wanted to make sure not. You wouldn't see me because you know, I, I didn't. Yeah. 
Yeah, you didn't what feel would safe. This one? Yeah, I didn't feel safe at all. But you didn't see any car, anything like that either. Um. Uh. I did see a like red, like older car driving around here. I don't know if he was a part of it, but. Okay. Yeah. And do you have any enemies, anybody that might want, like, you know, your girlfriend's ex-boyfriend, anybody that would want to come here, to, would you, or you think it's just a random... A, a, nah, nah, I mean, I, I don't know, to be honest. I, do, I mean, do you, have you made any recent fights lately, any enemies lately, anything like that? No, not at all. I don't think so, at least. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for coming out. I yeah. Know, I was just what's, nervous. What's your first and last name, sir? It's Joshua Jameson. All right. Thank you, uh, thank you sir. Uh, thank you. Um, so they didn't actually go inside the house, correct? No, no, no. It sounded like they were messing with the door. Okay. I don't think I actually got it open. All right. Thank you, sir. Sure. All right, I can talk to you. Thank you, guys. Do you have any you questions too. for him, Dave? Sorry. Uh, no, he pretty summed it up. He pretty much, he pretty uh, much summed it up. I was trying to get more, even though it's pretty, sh you know, Shut and closed, like they say. I just want to try to get more evidence here. Let me tell them. Bravo oh, one. Yeah. Uh, Bravo one to the units that apprehended the two suspects in a possible uh, B and E. I just spoke to the owner. He said that he he's the one that called us because he heard them trying to pry the door open. Um, he did not see them physically, but he saw their vehicle around us, and obviously we put one and one together. But he is the one that called us, and that they were indeed trying to break in his house. Just a little more to add to the evidence sheet there. Um, let's actually one more thing we forgot to do. Let's take a look at the door, see if we have any dings, any fresh scratches. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hey, so we're just going to take a look at the door now just to see if any fresh dings or scratches in it like that. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Looks at the doorknob. Door. This in be any fresh wedges scratches dents all right let's take a look man that was crazy man fucking broad daylight damn yeah i was about to say reckless right Reckless as hell, bro. Like, it's not even like a space out neighborhood. Like, three houses could see you easily trying to break in. But not, I easily seen him when I pulled up. Mm. It's like, they don't care no more, man. Man, I'm telling you. I just had the same guy, that one. He don't care. Like, he doesn't even care that he's driving stolen. I said, is it stolen? He said, yeah, so what? I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, wow. there, it is, there it is right there. All right. All right. Cool, so. Oh, damn. Beat the hell out there. Sure, 43, I'll be in route 5011 for right, the so vehicle crash. Alright, sir, thanks All again. Right. For sure, thank you guys right, for coming out here. You want me to here. grab my, uh, my camera and take a picture of yeah, it? If, yeah, if you, if you want, go for it. Go for it. Bravo 1, once again, to the units that have the two suspects in the B&E. Um, me and Delta 80 just observed uh, fresh dents and scratches on the door of them trying to op pry it open. So they were in the process. I just, I just love, I, I really, man, listen, y'all gotta th probably think, like, I'm just saying it over and over again, I just, I do fucking love this server, bro, ain't no server like us, man, I don't, I don't give a shit what server you think is better, whatever, ain't a server like us, man, and that's that, there, there are server that's been m way more established, obviously, we're not talking about the big players, but they, they have a different type of streamline to it, you know, it's either content creator server and, or, uh, wow. you know, Hours I'm talking about just like the community and the culture that we have here. I keep telling y'all, let me go check with this back up there. <laughs> there we go. All right, so the community, the culture, all that stuff. So I got, I got the picture. All right, cool, cool. All right, uh, the community, the culture. I, I mean, one thing that's like different here that I've noticed in any other community, man. Can I get just the, the, the culture here, man, is just legit, man, way. honestly. There's, There's some people that come in here, like we always say, you can already tell they're not going to last, Chevrolet. you know, from like the first couple hours. And the most about most people come in here, man, they create a, come in here strangers, they come out friends. And it's just, it's a good, it's a good place to be, man. I love this fucking place, for real. So let's go. Bravo 1 got to be back to 8, uh, so is Delta 80.
And one other thing about this housing script that's, that really is really, really nice is like it adds scenarios in places that people don't generally go to, such as this area, for example. Oh, these guys are still here. Okay, cool. We can say that maybe we can get him to uh, come clear. Uh, yeah, exactly. If we just say, hey, we got, we got multiple witnesses saying you were there. So you just just come clean with us now and perfect. You know, you maybe we could work here. out something. What's going on, Brad? One. Not a whole lot. Uh, you guys heard my radio transmissions. I'm assuming about about what we found yeah. out there. Yeah. In terms of the technicality, did they observe the them actually leaving in the vehicle or just the 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 damage to the house and the door? Sorry, could you run that question differently? Uh, so did they did the homeowner observe? these two leaving in this car Actually, with a description or did it was it just the the damage on the house that he was stating well he heard them pry it open while he was in it then he said he saw the car around he didn't see them physically because he didn't want to look out the window but he looked at the other window saw the car around um and what what happened exactly when you guys pulled up i mean were they were they running away what happened exactly Delta 80 can answer that yeah so what happened Delta 80 from the minute you pulled up like you saw them try to open, break in as well so basically that's what it would appear from where i was at so when i pulled up i seen the guy up at the door and then i guess he seen me pull up pull up he hopped in his car he cut it on i was going around the block of me in action but before i could get around there to him he pulled off i activated my sirens you know to initiate 10 11. yep he um and then like he just like booked it he sped up like instantly and you know, disregarded yeah. all, all lights and sirens, so. Yeah, I mean, the fact that the, we got the call about it, we come in here, there's two strangers that don't live there. You observed them doing, being up to his property, we just observed the fresh damage. Uh, the house owner observed the car that doesn't belong there. They ran away from you. Um, his confession is cool and all, but uh, at this point, he better have a damn good lawyer to get him out of this one. But uh, if I could add to that, uh, my, my passenger, after being Miranda, I stated that... Uh, uh, I tried to say, he said he was going up there to visit a friend, and when I said what's your friend's name, he sat there stuttering and essentially was saying, I just know him from playing online video games, and then said his username, which was some, um, he said SS Sniper 420 No Scope or something of that nature. Oh, nice. And, and so he doesn't even know the guy's name, and then at being asked about four times separately and trying to clarify which trailer is his up there because obviously i live up there so so my i know the neighborhood obviously and obviously, yeah. obviously two of my neighbors are two other fellow officers here uh he couldn't he couldn't for the life of him specify so on top of what you're saying and that everything pretty much dog doggy piles on top of both of them against what they're trying to state yep, yep. yeah the driver admitted to me that um he stated that the passenger was the one they both were looking around they looked in the windows of the house um saw like a laptop or some expensive technology is what he said in there um and then they uh the passenger was the one that was actually attempting to lock pick uh, and break in oh, so, so we haven't questioned the passenger about that yet but that's what the driver said the, yeah no that's false there was the driver that i seen at the door the passenger you know didn't even he was behind the driver and, you know, I guess the driver didn't tell him what he was about to do because he left him. He had to go back around and pick him up. So a quick question for whoever searched uh, the vehicle. Uh, did they find any burglary tools of any kind in there? No, negative. I didn't find it. Okay. Any. Okay. Because obviously Even... we have damage on the door. So we and if they were freshly right out of the damn neighborhood, I would assume, I mean, they can't be magicians and make it magically magically disappear. So it's either been tossed or in the vehicle or on their persons. I didn't have any on my persons. But no, 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 oh, either. oh, oh, big, big detail here as well. Uh, I got a pistol from my gentleman here, and uh, he, as I as I pulled it out of his waistband, he stated, "Oh, how did that get there?" As well. So uh, nice. also, Frank one hundred and nine on your search. Did you find any firearms license on on that individual? I didn't search anyone. Uh, oh, Mr. I told you the name. I thought that's what you. I'll, I'll, let me take care of that real quick. Mr. Jacob. Uh, yes, sir. When you say you didn't find anything on him, uh, for a case like this, did you did you utilize a out of world search? If you know what I mean. No, sir. I didn't. All right. You, you could do that in cases like this. That's fine. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. No, it's all good. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, the driver had a pistol on him as well. He said he got it off the black market, not registered. Seems like a pretty cut, clear, and dry here. You know. 
Con- yeah. We got confession from one. Confession from another would be nice, but if it ain't, like I said, he better have a damn good lawyer for it. Right. All right, fellas. All right, great work. All right, so that, All right. yeah, that passenger is going to be possession of a illegal firearm as well. Cool. Oh, yep. nice. Same with mine. Yep. All right. All right, guys. Be safe. All right. I can get my guy down then. Um, I'll have to look at the statute, but um, I'm assuming. Probably one back to eight. Uh, are there any units needed anywhere else? They said they were fighting, right? I don't see anybody fighting so far. Delta eighty twenty three. You suck at You're this. You're working no, here. You got you a suck at customer take. service. No. Hey, 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 no. Why don't I take this Kadar and break it over your damn head? No. Okay? How about calm that, down. Huh? Hey, I'm calm gonna figure down. that. Bravo. Wow. Let's, let's you, have a couple more units step How about I take this bouquet of flowers and smash it over you right him. now? No, yeah, you, you better, better wait. Control you better watch it. Yo, you better watch out. I'm not gonna ask you one more time. Walk that way. Walk towards the TVs, please. Ma'am, you come over this way. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right. All right, sir. What's going on, man? What's what's all this for? She she came into my store, right? Because I'm working here, and she just wants to start touching everything. So I'm like, can you please like not touch that stuff? Other people may want to buy it, and she's just like, but maybe I want to buy it. I'm like, okay, look at it nicely, and then figure it out if you're gonna buy it. And then I came in and said, well, you know, that's like a bad thing to buy. Why do you even want that? You've got a terrible taste. And then she just starts yelling at me, and then that dude back there comes in. So we all just get into a heated argument. I couldn't even understand it half the time. Okay, so she comes in there as a customer, touching stuff. You didn't like the way she was touching stuff and what she wanted to buy, anything that was good taste. And once you told her it's not a good taste, she got upset at you. Yeah, about, yeah, that's that's about right. Okay, and uh, what, what do you do here? What's your position here? I'm just the cashier right there, you know? I'll, since I'm kind of working alone, I'll be on the cashier, and then if someone needs my help, I'll walk over. So how did it go from, you got a terrible taste, so I'm going to pick up this guitar and break it over your head, to what I just heard you when I walked in? Um, um, she, she started yelling, man. I mean, she said there, you better have someone here to protect you. I mean, what you said, it's kind of rude a little bit, don't you think? I mean, it was fair. Okay, what's your first and last name? Ah, uh, man, you know me. Oh, Mr. Uh, Lindroff, right? What about that? Yeah, yeah. All right. Where, do you have a manager here? You have uh, bad taste. I think I'm working alone tonight as far as I know. Okay. Taste. Do me a favor, man. She's uh, right now. We're still looking into it. Okay. I didn't touch her, so, like, don't start thinking that, man. Well, uh, okay. We're going to look at everything right now, but do me a favor to not escalate the situation. Let's have you stay here. I'll be right back with you, okay? Henson. Hi, Mr. Henson. Just uh, if you could just stay over here for me, please. I'd appreciate it. All right. I'm sorry. Is it sorry if I just put this flower back real quick? I just don't want to stay in here. Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. Is it all right? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. All right, what you got? Um, so first off, he didn't say he said nothing physical happened between them. Um, I, he and the female are friends. Um, they just came here, and then uh, this guy over here in the overalls Jeffrey, just came cleared. up to the female and started yelling at her, um, just cussing oh, and stuff. Yeah. But Thanks, from what yeah, from what he oh, said, she's, a, she's approaching him. Yeah. Ma'am, right no, he, he, he told you he told you at least four times to stay outside and talk to him. You nah, keep trying to get back in here. Ass kicked, man. All right, there we go. Now she's handcuffed. We can we can breathe a little more. Yeah, so, so hey, sounds, like yeah, anyways, sounds like it sounds like the same thing. Nothing, yeah, nothing physical is happening, but like we'll check. There's plenty of cameras. Like, nothing is happening. Um, for, I didn't observe anything physical. I just I'm the only right the only threat I heard him say is he's gonna pick the guitar and break it over her head if she doesn't yeah, whatever, back up. Man. 
Is that that's what he said? Yeah, yeah, but she was like in his face nonstop. He's like, how about yeah. officer, officer? User joined your team. Yep. I'm on the phone with my manager right now, and he, he says that I'm supposed to be alone tonight, that no one's coming in. Okay. All right, well, tell your manager we're going to need to, uh, he's going to need to give you the camera access somehow, somewhere to password because we're going to need to look at that in a second here. You got, you got like the CCTV stuff, you know? All right, dope, dope. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you then, all right? Uh, an officer's here. All right. Um, story's matching up to yours. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this and we'll be out of here, man. Sound like pretty. Is it... Yeah, I was just chilling with the cashier. Is... I wasn't bothering nobody. Is it back? Is it back there? Uh, as far as I know, I don't know. I'm kind of new to this place. Okay. I think it is. Yo, yeah, there, there's, there's uh, yeah. the iPad right here. Sir, a single 100 okay. in effect. Negative. Uh, B802 Central, you can show me code 4 off my track stop. Show me back to Nate and available. Delta 80, are you clear for 21 real quick? Uh, that Delta 80, I could probably answer for him. He's busy with a Karen right now, sir. He should be with you momentarily. All right, sir, I'm seeing here on this CCTV she was touching objects. Like, what, what was this, like, after to kind of piss you off, or what's going on with that? No, like, they they touched, like, like while we were screaming, like, you know, they were grabbing the bouquet, and I grabbed the guitar, the threat, and, like, someone even, like, someone grabbed the rose. Uh, pretty sure someone had a donut in their hand at some point. Yeah, every, I, everyone was just screaming at each other, and then, like, someone picked up a bouquet of flowers, and I yeah. held the neck of the guitar and threat that I'm going to hit her. Well, I mean, I'm glad they didn't go crazy. I see if you guys have swords over there. God damn. I don't know if you guys sell swords. I'm assuming you guys want to, if things go, um, if things go like we're expecting to go, I'm assuming you and your manager want to trespass her from here. I, I mean, I'll have to, I'll have to let him, I'll have to like ask him because I shouldn't like make any executive decisions without him. Well, go ahead and ask him while we're here and uh, I'll come back and see you. Please don't come outside. There's postal's going to be 4024. Can I have oh, let me fire put the iPad back. Fire this. What did you see on the cameras? Same thing, though. Basically, the story she's coming in. I mean, he was being rude to her, but regardless, that doesn't mean you go all out Hulk mode and shit, you know? Right. All right. So, you're her boyfriend or just a friend, you said? Uh, I'm just a friend. Okay. All right. Traffic test going to be code for me back in the old service. Uh, all right, so all right, uh, they and uh, Sir uh, Austin kind of talk to you over here. Yep. Sir 43, cool. We have units start towards 68 to uh, assist with traffic control on the fire. So basically, the stories match up. I don't know what she told you, but his, her friend and, uh, and what he told them as well. She comes in here. He was being rude. I mean, she was looking at stuff. He's like, why would you buy that? You got an ugly taste. And, of course, she went all out after that. Didn't really touch each other. Um, he never asked her to leave. So uh, that's one thing I wanted to confirm. He never really asked her to leave. Um, he's kind of more like, if you don't like it, get the hell out of here. Blah, blah, blah. But he never, like I said, leave the property. Um, but they never really touch each other in the cameras. They never really talked. Or they never really um, physically touch each other either. So... Uh, as far as her coming back in, I'm assuming for obstruction, is that why you, but it's really well, up. Well, no, she, I was going to say, I wasn't arresting her, I was just detaining her. Just yeah. So we can keep the, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, like I said, there's stuff that I'll keep you guys up to your discretion. This one is up to you. If you want to arrest her for obstruction, cool. If you don't, just make sure it's pretty clear. Do not come back here. He's asking his manager if she's going to be officially trespassed. We're about to find out. But regardless, if she does come back here and they don't want to trespass her, um, do not cause any problems because we're, ha we're going to have to arrest her then. But it's up to you if you want to keep her or not. Uh, but like I said, as far uh, as far, as far as laws broken, technically none. As, as far as I can see, they just fought and argued. But I mean, not physically fought, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I definitely know. Uh, yeah, like I said, I wasn't gonna, um, I wasn't gonna charge her with it. I just wanted to keep the scene just cool. I didn't want them to keep on, yeah, you know, going back and forth. Yeah. But I must definitely let her know that the stores had enough of her for the night, and you know whether or not they are trespassing. Yeah, but I'm gonna go find out right now. I'll be right back. Okay, sounds. Good. All right, sir. So does your manager want to trespass her? Um, yeah, he said he said put her on trespass if she came in acting irate, and I said yeah, she started it, so he said yes. Okay, sir. So we got to deal with it in a parking lot. Um, technically, no laws have been broken as of yet, so we're not gonna be detaining you or her or anything like that. Well. It depends on what he wants to do, because technically she was obstructing the scene by by trying to keep coming back in here. But again, uh -huh. um, we got a trespass, sir. Uh, yeah, my manager wants a trespass. For sure. Okay, thank you, sir. Have a good night. No problem. What do, what do you just want me to continue working as usual? Uh, that's up to you and your manager, and that's not up to me, man. But Okay, because I know out there it's pretty busy, and I have to put... You see those shopping carts out there? I got to push those in pretty soon. Well, I mean, if you got if you have a job to do, you got a job to do. Just please don't come near her. Then we're going to escalate the situation again, all right? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, man. Thanks right. so much. All right. Bravo 1, Delta 80, Frank. Why don't I be advised? He does have to push the cars from the inside. I cannot prevent the guy from working. Just uh, be careful in case things uh, flare up again. Tiffer, so he got to push the carts inside, like I said. Um, they do want to officially trespass her, so hit her, hit her with the trespassing order, and if you want to let her go, then she's good to go. Yes, All right, sounds good. Any All right, I'll, I'll wait here. Uh, go ahead. Can we plus 1021 real quick, sir? All right, I got a 1021 now. 10 for Channel switched. User joined your channel. What's up, man? So, uh, I mean, uh, I'm confused here because uh, I don't know what to do, but I have a fire going on and I don't know how to, I guess, quote unquote, get, like, stop it from burning, basically. Because um, we don't have uh, an active uh, fire. So. Yeah, yeah, you just you just wait, hang on there. Obviously, if it's been like a minute or so, wait a little bit. Then after a while, after two, three minutes, say, county fire shows up and then your job in it becomes really the quote unquote fire marshal. You just be like, looks fire marshal looks for signs of arson or what or the fire marshals looks for how the fire started what do they find that's what your job becomes then okay does the fire kill people because it's an actual real fire yeah it'll kill people just don't don't go in it okay so like uh, i said just hang on as if you're waiting for fire and it was they're going out and then after three and three four minutes um ping man team speak then i'll put it out okay yes sir thank you all right man channel switched User joined your channel. One out of twelve is gonna be today, ten forty one. I'm assuming he I'm assuming he came with her, right? I was the one who got victimized. Sorry, sir, I can't hear you. So I'm leaving with her. Okay, cool. Do you got the keys to the car? Uh I think she did. Uh I don't know if they searched or not. Alright. Can you can you just do me a favor while we wait? Uh, can you just go hang out by her car? Because he's going to be working yeah, here. Yeah, I don't yeah. want any flares. Yeah, Appreciate you, sir. Thank you, man. We'll move, I mean, move this car out of his way, too. Yeah, I, I, I understand, I guess. Okay, I appreciate that. Give me a second. We'll get you out of here. Useless. Oh shit, I'm on the other side, I don't know. Can I bomb my smoke? Yep. Watch your head. Smoking is bad for you. Put a face away, I'm gonna uncuff. 
Now, man, I'm pretty sure he made it very clear. Once you're uncuffed, you got a job to do outside. Do not approach him. We don't want to have to detain you again and then arrest you for obstruction and, and trespassing at this point, all right? Are you, you're telling me that I can't talk to him? No, you cannot. That's exactly what you I'm can. telling you. Especially why he's here, so. Listen, yeah, I'm, I'm listen, gonna, hey, can hey, you go over to him? Just, can just you go over your car to and him go. and tell him that he's a dumbass? And tell him I'm coming for him. Tell him. It's gonna be in Carolina Smith. Oh my shit. With a K. Let's go. Right. Believe? Yeah, you guys are good to go, right? You're yep. good to go? Alright. Yes, sir. You're lucky. You're lucky these men are Keep here. it moving. Keep it moving, man. I'm coming for you. Don't, I'm coming for you, sir. That. Okay, that sounds like a threat. What? Uh, oh, I'm not even fucking. I'm. It's a Karen. She's just threatening. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. I'm done, bro. She, she she, she's she's hyper as shit. She ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> she ain't gonna hey. do shit. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, man. All right.